let's check out the Geekbench results on the newest iPhone 17. So I did a test basically so you can see for yourself. So I did two tests, so maybe let's take the highest one which I was able to get. So you see, we actually get a very, very decent score of a bit over 9,000. For example, if you compare to my Samsung Galaxy S25, which at the moment is the world's most powerful phone, then that one gets exactly 10,000 for me. I have seen for other people, it gets like even similar result to this one. So again, definitely this is actually one of the most powerful phones in the world. And also single score again, probably is the best out of any phone I have seen. Uh, when it comes to the amount of RAM, so you see we get 80 GB of RAM, so you can see the all the specs here. So if you want to pause, okay. Okay, and also if we compare the performance of this phone versus, for example, maybe the last year's iPhone 16 Pro Max, so the maxed out version with the best cooling, best CPU, best RAM. So again, this is even like tiny bit more powerful than that. So it's absolutely amazing how insanely powerful this phone actually is this year. So you see how it compares, for example, to the iPhone 13 Pro, iPhone 14. So you see, definitely it's actually a very powerful device. When you check the mode score, again, same situation. So you see, compared to the 16 Pro Max, much, much more powerful phone, actually. So you see, literally, maybe, okay, not 10%, maybe, yeah. Actually, very decent. Also, if you compare, basically, the performance of this phone versus the Pro version, so the iPhone 17 Pro, then when I check the specs, actually, the benchmarks was only like 5% uh, or 6% basically worse on this one. So again, literally it's really has the same performance pretty much as a pro version. Uh, but uh, when it comes to the GPU performance, uh, the pro versions obviously have better GPUs, but again, the CPU performance really almost identical as on the pro. So again, you aren't really missing anything on this phone. So yeah, when it comes to performance so far, this phone, yeah, feels like blazing fast. Uh, but however, uh, sometimes basically in the few days I have had, I actually have seen basically a bunch of bugs, but I think that are related to the IS26. So again, it hasn't been totally smooth experience also the customization features again they are lagging sometimes basically again so this new uh, like the liquid glass design definitely still needs a bit of work for it to be super smooth but apart from that yeah if you're looking for power phone which also has got very good thermal so again uh, yeah, I'm shooting a lot of videos now with this phone and it doesn't overheat at all. So again, no matter what you throw at it, it actually performs very good. Also excellent battery life as well. So it lasts for absolute ages. So yeah, and also, yeah, we get even 256 gigabytes in the base storage this year as well on this phone. So yeah, it's absolutely amazing in my opinion. Okay. So you see, yeah. Uh, when it comes to actual storage, it's around like 200 gigabytes. So obviously operating system takes something else and some apps basic and stuff like that. Yeah, anyway, very solid phone indeed. Good luck.